Hello, all of you watch enthusiasts around the world. Um, I just received, actually yesterday, I received uh, this package from Switzerland with uh, uh, from Direnzo, Sergio. Uh, this is from Kickstarter. My la well, it, no, it's my second to last from Kickstarter. And um, I didn't open yesterday. I have guests, etc., etc., full house. So literally. Um, so here's my unboxing. I just removed the documents, shipping documents. So that's it, and that is the box. Let me see where it's opening. It's just right here. So this is how this watch came from me. Uh, yes, this is a watch from. No, oh, this is ain't gonna work like this. Oh, we gonna work like this. Brute force, sometimes the useful stuff. So, and as you can see, there are two boxes, which doesn't matter because only one is mine, and I actually don't know which one is mine. So, no, there's only one way. Ta da! Oh. Okay, there's a second way. I need to know which one is, oh, I like this one. I don't know which watch is inside. Mine is blue, but this is really nice, as you can see. This is nice. Okay, and, hmm. <laughs> okay, so, yep. Well, Sasha, as you can see, this is your watch and it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm not joking. It's I'm just watching over the camera, but I'm sorry, it's not my watch, so we will proceed with another box. And this is the watch from Durenza Watches. Uh, nice card box, cardboard box, nice but still looking nice. Still okay. So what we have in the box? We have the numbers, short one, okay. Let's see if we go. Oh, it's good to have that. So this is certificate of authenticity, and one is this one, and this is 144 from 400 watches. That's it. And we don't need this one anymore. So oh, it's, it's a really nice one. Pure weather. And this is my options are what I choose. So what is this? This is a warranty card. Okay, I'll put it back. And Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. And this is my new watch. And it's different. I mean, nicely different. Wait, just move this one like this. And let me peel this off. Oops, come on. Is there anything? Yep. So, as I said, this is my second to last uh, Kickstarter campaign. Uh, this is watch from Direnzo Watches. This is uh, DR2. And I choose blue one with the date. And this inside is Celita SW200-1. So it's pure Swiss movement, and I'm just checking the this case through camera lens or from my mobile camera lens, and I must say it is gorgeous. People, I like this watch. It's really nice. It's different, and as you can see, and dial is is really nice. I like this watch. I mean, this is just quick security unboxing. Yeah, my usual problem. Short strap. Nothing new, unfortunately. I wonder why people doesn't sell longer. I will pay more for the longer strap. So, Sergio, I want longer strap. I mean, come on. I mean, not just Sergio. Don't mean. Oh, this is this is really nice. Come on, people, look at this. 
I like it. I mean, I don't care if you like it or not, but I do like it. It's 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 a gorgeous watch. It's really nice. Let me check. So, this is the watch. What I have else? I have. Well, this is silicon strap, and as you can see, there is a quick release right there on the both sides. And I didn't even check. And of course, you have that on this one. And here I have. Well, I'm counting on this one because oh, this is spare spare pins, quick release pins. Okay. Let's do the quick change. I'll put that here. Actually, I'm cutting on this because usually, usually, okay, this is not the right tool, but it's gonna be effective one. Because usually, when I put this on the end, it's more than enough, even for my little bit bigger. wrist but before we done all of this i will do something else i want to measure this watch with the uh, just with the strap leather strap oops sorry i was watching from the other side so as you can see it's 88.7 grams watch it's watch itself quick strap is Really nice to do, and it's usually go 12. Yeah, that's right. I mean, that is quite okay. So, just a watch is I don't know if you can see 74 grams, and this one is usually on 12. Oh, no, I was wrong. This was not a spare part, this one just put on here for this one so here goes quick release pins hmm. I think I will need to do this off the camera because I don't know why they didn't put it already in that is gonna be well, I think so now I need to push it just over like this. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's see this one. Yeah, that's it. So let this in and And as you can see, this is really easy to do it. And you have quick release pins. And I'm doing this on the camera, so. Yep. Well, the watch is now is going to be a little bit heavier. But that is understandable. Because it is a mesh strap at the moment on it. Well, I just measure like this and now it's 132 grams which is still not much so let me check now and yes now it's even too much but just yeah I still have my so this watch will be mostly on this mesh strap and this is how this watch looks. It looks marvelous. I like it. Okay. I'm trying to, to do this really quick, so... Zero... Okay. Dimensions. So let me see. Let's see first between the locks. It's 22 millimeters. From lug 
to lag and I will measure like this so I'll put it here and here and I will say 40 yeah I will say 45 millimeters yeah so from lag to lag is 45 millimeters which is not much I must say for oh well, it's hard to say diameter but 41 millimeter wide watch and the bezel is 39.5 so bezel is a little bit smaller as you can see and it's quite nice done bezel with the counter angle on it and let me see how it's thick it's, it's really thin so it's 11 overall on the thickest part is 11.6 millimeter it's, it's a really nice watch as as i said before inside is uh, selita movement sw200-1 of course um, what else oh i forgot to say this is 50 meter water resistance watch or five atmosphere pressure resist which does mean okay it's probably okay to wash your hands with it but sometimes it's maybe better not to do that as a, of course Solita, this with Solita is hackable so second hand will stop and i'm just trying to check all of this it's working perfect let me see where is uh, yeah it's just changed it so i passed the midnight and here is somewhere around no well, i am not sure but i think it's around eight so i'll put it on the eight just leave it like that it's a beautiful watch um let me check one more thing and that is loom um i will try to do something wait a second so this is the loom what do you say not bad huh not bad at all look at this it's really bright so this is the loom and now i will just open a bit so as you can see the loom is really really nice Okie dokie. I mean, um, I will do proper review of this watch later on after a couple of weeks wearing the watch and checking the, how it is, what it is, but it's really, really nice. You see, it is, it is a nice watch. Absolutely. I do like it. This is just quick check on and so you can see how is this watch looks. I think it's beautiful and that's it for now so uh, thank you for watching please do subscribe somewhere down there is subscribe button so please do subscribe on my channel um, I will be I will have more um, reviews uh, comparison with between watches etc etc so please do subscribe uh, it's always good for any channel uh, YouTube channel to have more subscribers and um, it's try on and I'm I'm doing the best I'm not paid for anything what I'm doing they're all my watches practically if I ever receive any watch for a review I will I, I'm not paid for it I'm just doing f because I like to do it that's all nothing else so, uh, please do subscribe. Uh, happy watch hunt. Love you. Bye.